Hello and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the first feature in Onshape which is the Extrude feature or tool. As you can see on the screen we have four activities to work through starting off with the basics of creating a basic extrude and extrude cut and then we're going to work our way along these activities and start looking at the end uh, creating surfaces using the extrude. Once a document has been shared with you you'll have access to these four tabs along the bottom. So the first one is the copy of the model that you're going to create, so you can use this for reference. You've also got a drawing, okay, with the key dimensions. And the third tab here is links to the actual tutorials via YouTube. And lastly, you've also got the access to this, which gives you access to other resources and other tutorials via the different platforms. So the first thing you need to do is to have a look at the model that you're going to create. Now if the file has been shared or this document has been shared with you, one of the key things that you'll see at the top towards this area here, it will say create copy. Because at the moment, okay, you probably only have a view access. So you'll have some icons on the bottom and you won't have these icons at the top. So the key thing will be to go create copy and save that into your own Onshape account and then what will happen after a few seconds is all these icons will appear at the top. So we're going to get started on this activity. So the first thing I'm going to do in Onshape is I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to click on create part studio. What this is going to add along the bottom is an additional tab and this tab could be dragged anywhere along here. So I'm going to just keep it here for now. Okay, or maybe there, doesn't really matter, just so I can do a quick reference between different tabs. So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the drawing. I'm going to zoom in and we can see some critical dimensions. So we're going to start with and create a cube. So I'm going to go back to my part studio. And the thing that we've got in uh, on shape, which is the same as basically any other parametric software, if you've used Fusion or SolidWorks before, is you have your planes here, and these can be turned on and off, okay, using the eye. And what we're going to do first of all is create a sketch. So we click on sketch at the top, and you, every uh, icon or tool also has a shortcut. So when you hover over these, you'll see in brackets the shortcut as well. And I might start using some of those shortcuts in some of the later tutorials. So if we click sketch, we're going to decide on a work plane we want to sketch on. So for this model, it doesn't really matter which plane we're going to choose, but I'm going to choose this uh, sort of top one here. I'm going to click N for normal, and that will flatten that work plane. And I'm going to click up on the rectangle tool, and we're going to go to this center point rectangle. And you can see the shortcut is R. I'm going to click on the center and drag this out. Now what's really important when you're designing in on shape is to keep the origin, and that's the dot, in the middle, okay, and the planes really in the center of the object you're drawing. It will save you a lot of time later if you want to mirror things or take measurements or add relationships. So we're going to click and we're going to drag that out and click again. And then it gives me the option to type in some dimensions. So I'm going to type in a dimension for the horizontal, click enter, and type in a dimension for the vertical. And we're just going to go back to the drawing just to make sure that's the right size. Yeah, 150 by 150. So we go back to this tab. What we're going to do now is go up to Extrude. I'm going to click on this cube here just to give me a better overview. And I can spin this around at any sort of angle I want using these different arrows. And what I've got here is it's extruded my sketch. It's already selected it. Okay, sometimes if you've saved your sketch, you may need to select it and you can select it here. And if I just move this out of the way, Okay, you can also select it on this side here as well. And at the moment, that's extruding that 25 millimeters above okay, my sketch. So we want this to be a cube. I'm going to type in 150. And as you can see here from the front view, that's done 150 above my sketch. Now that's fine. I could continue to do this and create the rest of the design. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into these options here. And I want to type in symmetric. And what that would do is we'll split the total of 150 
75 either side of my sketch. That means that my origin and my plane stay in the middle okay, of my design and that doesn't matter which angle I look at, that will okay, stay in the middle as you can see. The other things that you need to learn about as well is at the moment we're creating a solid and the fourth activity will look at creating a surface. To start with, okay, when you're creating a model from the starting point like this, we're going to create something that's new. Later on, when we come to add okay, geometry, we can use the add. If we then want to remove geometry, we can click on remove. And if we want to basically create something what's called an intersect, we can create an intersect there. And again, surface we'll look at later. So we've got 150, okay, symmetric, and click the green tick. Now, if you've made a mistake, you do not have to start any of this again. You can right click on your sketch and left click edit, and that will come back to the sketch and you can make adjustments and then save the sketch there. And the same again, okay, you can right click on the extrude, left click edit, and again, you can make adjustments, okay, if you've made a mistake. So we've got our basic, okay, cube here. So we go back to the drawing. We can see here, if I just uh, press F for fit, we can see that we've got holes basically on each side that go right through. So it's a through hole and it's 100 millimeters on center. So I'm gonna to come to this. So we're gonna use a few different techniques, okay, to create this. So I'm going to go up to sketch and I'm going to hover and over these planes and I'm going to create a sketch on, let's say, the front work plane. I'm going to press N for normal and I'm going to go up to the circle or press C for circle. And because again I've drawn this in the middle, my origin's in the middle, so this is saving me time, I can click once, type in the size and click enter to confirm it. And as you can see at the moment, I've got this okay, circle in the middle. I'm now going to go to Extrude. And as you can see, it's already selected that because that sketch was active. And what we're going to do here is I want to remove that material. I do not want to add it. Okay, I want to remove it. And at the moment, we've got what's called a bind hole. So I could type in there, say 75, and just click. And as you can see, that's working up to this surface here. Okay, 75 millimeters from that sketch, okay, in one direction. So that could be fine, I could click the green tick and I could use that same sketch again and delete it from the other side. You've also got other options in here. So symmetric, and if I type in 150, and just click to confirm that. Okay, you can see that's now doing it 150 because it's doing 75 either side. You've also got other options in here if we want to do up to next, okay, and that will go up to that surface up to next because it's pointing in that direction. We could do up to face, so we could select a face and it'll go up to that face there, like so. And if we deselect that, okay, we go up to part if we had a separate part, okay, that was floating over here, but at the moment we don't. So there's lots of different ways of creating the same thing, and a through hole, hence the name, will cut right through in that direction. So what I'm going to do in this one, because I've sketched it in the middle, I'm going to go symmetric. Okay, 150, click OK, or confirm that. It's got a hole going right through the middle. So this time, I'm going to create a sketch, okay, on this surface here. Press N, okay, C for circle, sketch out a circle, which is 100, confirm that. We're going to go up to extrude again. So last time I did symmetric, so this time we're just going to do a blind, we're going to go that direction, remove, and we're going to go 150 and click. And then what you'll see there, this time I've done a blind hole, okay, the distance all the way through, because remember it's 150 millimeters, okay, in dimensions that way. So we've done a symmetric cut, and now we've done a sort of single direction cut, so blind cut. So again, I'm going to go sketch on this surface here, N for normal. C for circle, or C a circle at the top. Drag this out, type in 100 and enter. Again, I'm going to go to extrude. Okay, I like to use the cube and click on the edges to help allow me to spin that around. At the moment, it's thinking, right, we want to extrude this up. Okay, we don't want it to do that, we want it to go the other direction. 
and we want to this time so we've done blind we've done symmetric what I'm going to do is do vertex okay and click that point there and you can see it's trying to add okay so I just need to click remove and click OK to confirm that so as you see there we've created that first one really really quickly okay so just to confirm a few things if we go into here remember you can edit the feature you could go and edit the sketch if you need to you could um, actually click on there and show the dimensions just in case you wanted to confirm something you could do that as well and if we just right click on that again and we go into edit remember okay you have these options here at the top for new add remove and intersect and you have a various number of different options at the bottom so that's the first one done and when we go into the next exercises you'll see some extra features we'll use using this same extrude okay tool at the top so what we're going to have a go at now is this second activity so we're going to create this cube and we're also going to create additional geometry on the outside creating these cylinders or extrudes so again we're going to look at symmetry but also we're going to look at something called two-sided as well so that's something we've not covered so again you've got here the model so if you want to spin this around and have a look at that and use that as reference and also we've got a copy of the drawing with the key dimensions so if I click on the plus create part studio that I'm going to insert an additional tab here and what I'm going to do is start creating this design so I'm click on sketch I'm going to go for the top work plane press N and we're going to go up to center point rectangle make sure you click on the middle Okay, click and drag that out. And I'm going to type in a dimension. So it's going to do a horizontal one first. Then it's going to do the vertical one second. And click enter. If I've made a slight mistake, I can double click on any of these numbers, okay, or dimensions and type in a new dimension and update that. So you do not have to start that again. Anything can be edited. So now I'm going to go up to extrude. I'm going to just change the angle here. And what we've got is the extrude box appears. So we're creating a new part, okay, because this is the sort of the first sketch. And we're not going to do blind. So if I did say, because it's going to be 150, type 150. I don't want it to be blind either side of the sketch, okay. I want it to be symmetric. So 75 either side of the sketch. And that means my origin stays in the middle. That's going to save me lots of time. And click the green tick. Again, any of this could be edited, so I could right click and go edit there to edit the feature or to edit the sketch, okay, in case I've made a mistake. So we've got this basic cube. We're now going to start to create, okay, if we have a look at the drawing, okay, these extrudes on the outside. So the extrude itself, okay, sticks out 75 millimeters from that cube and it's 100 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to go back to here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go sketch and I'm going to create a sketch, okay, on this top work plane so it runs through the center. I'm going to click N to normalize that, so flatten it. Click on the circle, press C, click, okay, type in the dimension. And again, if you've done that wrong, you could double click on the dimension and change it. So let's have a look what we've got. So we've got this sketch in the middle. So we're going to go to extrude. This time we want to remove, sorry, we want to add material, not remove it, sorry. So click on add, okay. And I'm going to drag this up. So if I typed in sort of 75 there blind, okay, it's going to go up to the surface and it's giving me a bit of a warning here because it's not actually, okay, doing anything there. So what I could do is I could type in 150, okay off that surface that means it's going to stick out 75 if i click on this second end position this is another option we've got if we click that okay it gives me another okay dimension here which i can control and can i can drag that out and i can type in here so not only okay can i drag it in one direction if i've ticked this here i've now got control of the other direction so i could type in 150 okay i could type in whatever i want really Okay, so if you see here, I've got obviously a long from that point all the way down to there, 250. It's obviously different to the 150. 
But if we're doing this with a level of accuracy to the drawing, okay, it needs to be 150 by 150. And this is what's important as well. If I click the green tick, okay, that has merged those two into one part because I had in the options here, add, okay, selected. If I click new, what that would ha create is basically two parts. Okay, and as you can see, it's sort of intersecting. So I've got two parts there. I want all this to be one part. So it's important, okay, you select the correct, okay, feature on here. So we're going to go add. So that's using a blind, okay, in two directions. We're going to go sketch again, and I'm going to click on the front. If I could click, that would be good. I'm going to press N for normal, C for circle, or circle at the top. And I'm going to click and type in 100. I'm going to change the angle. And I'm going to extrude this again. So we're going to go up to extrude. It's already selected a circle because I was in an active sketch. If it doesn't, okay, you can try and select it here. Okay, I'll click it there. And what we're going to do this time, rather than doing blind, okay, or add in a second direction, I'm going to use, okay, symmetric. And this is where we need to think about our dimensions. If I go 150, okay, it's only going up to that surface, okay, from that middle sketch. So we want to go 300, and that means, okay, it's 150 from that point that way and that way, which gives us 75 either side. And we've got add again, and click tick. So we've created the same features there using Okay, symmetric, and we've also used okay, uh, basically controlling the size from the sketch either end. Uh, next one, we can now go not extrude, sorry, sketch. Okay, click on this surface, N for normal, C for circle, and click on that to start type out the circle. So 100 millimeters, confirm that using enter. And what we're going to do this time is click on that to select it and we're just going to do a simple blind to so 75 and click tick so if we have a look at these options again so we've done a simple blind okay so it goes in one direction we've done a let's have a look symmetric and we've also done a second end position as well now in because of this shape okay uh, we're not going to use an up to next because I've got nothing to come up to, okay? Or a face or a part or a vertex. We did one or two of those in the first video where we selected certain edges. So we've covered all of those different options, okay, in there. There's one last little thing we're going to do. Actually, second to last thing, actually, is if I right click on here, you've also got the option of adding what's called a draft. So I'm just going to exaggerate this a little bit, so 15 degrees. So you can see here, it's starting off that circle, which is 100 millimeters, and it com it's coming off at an angle of 15 degrees that way. If you click that arrow, it gradually gets smaller by 15 degrees as well. Okay, so that's really important if you want to add drafts. So I'm just going to tick that and save that like so. The other thing we you can have a go as well is just adding a little feature, okay, I'm going to go in and click mirror. So this is a sort of a quick way, of cheat way of doing this, I suppose. So we could go on that surface on the other side, create another sketch and extrude it. But I just wanted to show you the mirror tool as well, which you can use in this to speed it up. So we've got mirror. Uh, we, don't want to, we don't want to mirror the part, we want to mirror a feature. So I'm going to select the feature, which is this one here. The plane is if we go up here we can then choose the plane okay which is going to be the right plane and then we could click tick okay and like magic okay it mirrors this one to this side here thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description i'll see you on the next one